Hello YugiTube, it's Emma Blois 10 here with a deck profile of the Harpy Ladies. Now this is a deck I have been wanting to build for a very very long time. Um, I've always liked the Harpy Ladies, I really liked uh, My Valentine from the anime and everything. Um, before I could build this deck online with all the new support and hopefully build it in real life in hopefully a little while, um, the Harpy Lady cards, just from my end, were very hard and expensive to get and everything, so I never really bothered. But now that I have access to a lot more Harpy Lady support cards and the online version and everything, and since the, re the release of the Joy's World, um, they've become a lot more easier to get. And I am definitely building this deck in real life, because as I said, I've always liked them, I've always wanted to build them, and now I have my chance. But anyway, until the deck is built real life on, re in real life, you're just going to have to be supplemented with the online version. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now this deck is a bit of a fun deck, as well as having a competitive streak. And it's a bit of a homage to my Valentine in that I'm using some cards that she used as well. And there's some other cards, of course, that she may not have used, but what the heck, here we go. Right, first off we have two Harpy Lady 1s and her effect is that she, all wind monsters gain 300 attack and one Cyber Harpy Lady. Now there's there's the really silly ruling of that because their name says they're always treated as Harpy Lady, it means, it means because they share that name with the original normal Harpy Lady monster, you, it conforms to the deck rule that all cards can only be used at maximum of 3 copies. Which I think is a bit of a silly rule because if that wasn't an effect then you could easily have built a harpy deck long ago without all the new support with three cyber harpies, three harpy lady ones, three harpy lady twos, three harpy lady threes, three normal harpies if you wanted to. But just because of that awkward ruling it means from the harpy lady one, two and three, the cyber harpy lady and the normal harpy lady you can only have a combination of three in total. But uh, most harpy lady decks seem to run mainly these cards here, well her Cyber Harpy Lady of course has got the highest attack power at 18 attack and Harpy Lady 1 just got a good wee boost there making a lot of when monsters go from 13 to 16, 19 sort of mid-range attack which is pretty cool. Then we have one Harpy's Pet Dragon um, this is mainly used for exceeding with however um, on occasion I will just use it for its ability to gain 300 attack for all the Harpy Ladies that I have on the field and just pretty much overwhelm the opponent. Then we have three Harpy Queen, um, which when you discard it you can add a Harpy's Hunting Ground, the field spell, to your hand. It's treated as Harpy Lady while it's on the field or in the graveyard, so and it's 19 base attack as well which is quite good. Then we have three Harpy Channeler. Um, you can discard a Harpy card uh, in order to special summon a Harpy a harpy monster from the deck in face up defense position except for another harpy chancellor or a harpy's brother and um, this is the main way to exceed because when there's another dragon type monster on the field um, or when I control a dragon type monster sorry its card level becomes seven so if I've got harpy's pet dragon on the field and it's special summon via chancellor it becomes a level seven and that's when the rank um, exceeding in that comes into play and it's also got the effect of when it's in the graveyard or on the field, it's treated as a Harpy Lady as well, which is pretty cool. Then we have three Harpy Dancer. You can target a wind monster you control, return it to the hand, and then normal summon one wind monster. You can only use this effect once per turn, and again, it's got the effect of if it's on the field or graveyard, it becomes a Harpy Lady. Now, interestingly enough, um, I made a mistake with this card in a duel I had that I didn't record, sadly, where I thought I could normal summon... Harpy's Pet Dragon with this card's effect and um, because tribute summons are considered as normal summons however I didn't realize um, of course when it means by normal summons um, it means level 4 or lower so that was a bit of a dope moment for, for you get for me there and um, just for you guys to have a little laugh about but I learned my lesson so when most of the time unless it says like above um, 5 or higher Normally when the card says normal summon, it means a level 4 lore, so I'll definitely keep in check next time. But this is very good for bouncing back certain cards to get um, combos going and everything. For example, say I have Harpy's Pit Dragon already on the field, Harpy's Dancer's already on the field. I can target itself, return to the hand, special summon a Chancellor. There you go. There's Exceeding going away, or I can special summon or normal summon another card if I need to, like a Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon or something, which incidentally I am running three of. Um, 
I think a lot of duelists are underestimating this card because it's actually quite a good card. It, yes, it depends on the number of Harpy Ladies you have on the field, but it's pretty good, I think. If it's got one Harpy Lady, your opponent can't select Harpy Monsters as attack targets. Um, and it's two Harpy Ladies, double the original attack, so it becomes a 24 attack for a level 4, which is pretty cool. And th when you've got three more Harpy Ladies, you can just draw one card the opponent controls once per turn, which is pretty cool. And it's just a baby version of that, and I think it's really cute, and I think it it deserves play. Then we have two Vist Mist Valley Soldier. Um, its effect is when it's destroyed by battle, the monster, um, an opponent's monster that destroys it, but it's not destroyed, um, gets bounced back to the hand, basically. It's a level 4 tuner, which I will explain, which is my choice for synchroing and... Uh, Synchroing mainly, because um, I can sync easily with a level 4 to make a level 8, or even with the level 7s in order to get into Star Eater. And then we've got one Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms. It's a wind attribute dragon, I thought. It's a level 7 as well. It could work with Chancellor, it could work very well with quite a few of the cards in this deck and everything, and just for general attack power and all that, so I thought it's going in. Um, I don't think this card really needs that very much explanation, but if you're unsure about it, you can banish a total of two wind or and or dragon type monsters from the hand to special summon it. Um, during your opponent's end phase, if it was special summoned this way, it, it returns back to your hand. You can discard this card and one wind monster to the graveyard to add a dragon type monster from the deck to the hand, so I can add mainly Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon or Harpy's Dragon itself. Um, and when this card is banished, you can add one Wind Dragon type monster from the deck to the hand. So again, it's mainly to search out just the Pet Baby Dragon and this if needed. Um, and just to Special Summon itself so I can keep using its abilities and all that. Especially when there's Harpy Chancel on the field. You know, Special Summon this, play that, rank 7s, no problem. Then we have one Magician of Faith. Now, guaranteed we never really saw Mai use this. I wouldn't be surprised if she would have used this just because of its ability to reuse a lot of her her magic cards. Then we have three Elegant Egotist, um, just to max out the ability of special summoning all the Harpy Ladies and everything. Then we've got three Hysteric Sign, and um, when this card is activated, add one Elegant Egotist from the deck to the hand, so it's a search ability. During the end phase of the turn this card was sent from the field or hand to the graveyard, you can add up to three Harpy Ladies with different names from the deck to the hand. So this alone thins the deck by about four cards. So playing three means your deck thins out about about 12 cards, depending. However, you can only activate one Hysteric Sign effect per turn and only once that turn. So when you, if you activate it, you only add Elegant Egotist. So if you try and destroy it in the same turn, you don't get the second effect of adding three Harpy Lady cards because I learned the hard way from that mistake by because I didn't read the card properly, which is still a bit of a fault with mine, mind you. But this card and the Elegant Egotist, along with, say, the Harpy Queens as well, to an extent is the reason I don't have any draw cards in this deck, just mainly because these um, nine cards basically thin the deck out so much very quickly if it goes right. Then we have three Harpies Hunting Ground, which is my answer for Mystical Space Typhoon and everything. Um, all Wing Beast type monsters gain 200 attack and defense, and any Harpy Lady cards are summoned, or summoned, normal or special. Um, I can target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it, so brilliant for getting rid of the opponent's cards. But also brilliant for destroying Hysteric Signs if, um, if they're face down or have been activated from a previous turn and everything. But it's a mandatory effect, meaning that if a Harpy Lady is summoned, this has to go off. And if it's the only card you've got in the field, you've got to destroy your own field spell. So it's a bit of a bit of a backlash if you don't use it properly, but very effective when it is used properly. Then we have one Dark Hole as a staple, one Book of Moon as a staple, two Quill Pen of Gildos to target two Wind Monsters in your graveyard and add one card on the field. Shuffle both your first two targets into the deck and return the other to the hand. Very good for recycling any of my wind monsters, regardless of what they are, and bouncing back other cards that are a pain in the neck, pain in the neck sorry, mainly than my opponents. I was running three, but I think two is more than adequate because sometimes my graveyard will fill up quickly with wind monsters, other times it won't, so I think two is more than adequate. 
For traps now, we've got, of course, two mirror force. Two mirror wall, because it's a, said it's a bit of a homage to my Valentine, and she ran mirror wall. It's highly effective, especially how a lot of the harpy cards have relatively low attack, so it's brilliant for surprising the opponent. Then we've got three hysteric party. Discard one card from your hand. Special summon as many harpy lady cards as possible from your graveyard. When this card is removed from the field, destroy all monsters that were special summoned by this effect. Basically, mass summoning of Harpy Ladies is done mainly with this card, but it's like a Call of the Haunted if it goes or your monsters go. Simple as. For the extra deck now, we have three Harpy's Pet Mirage Dragon. Um, this card's effects can only be applied and resolved when it has an XYZ material. This card can attack your opponent directly, so that's quite good. I mean, 2000 attack, not too bad for a, a rank 4. Um, your opponent cannot target Harpy monsters for as targets for attacks or effects and um, so it's got a bit of the harpy's pet baby dragon effect in there and um, which is pretty cool uh, during each of your end phase you have to detach one xyz material from this card so for about three turns depending you can protect your harpy ladies and attack the opponent directly which is about a good 6k damage depending on how many times you can get through then we've got one utopia just to of course negate attacks for rank 7s, I've got two Gaia the Thunder Charger. It's a wind type dragon level 7. Um, you know, it, it does pierce damage pretty much. I've got two Mechanfatum Draco Sacks. Um, interestingly, this card is still pretty hard to get. Um, if I do ever get one for the Harpy Lady deck, I'll just stick with one. But since I've got the online version, I'm running two at the moment. I'm not running any Big Eye. Um, I don't know why, I just really don't like that card for some reason. I know it's a permanent change of heart card and everything, but I just don't like it. I'd rather run Draco Sack because, well, its destroying ability I think is far more useful. I'd rather get rid of problematic cards than take control of them, in all honesty. So, yeah, two Draco Sack. If I said if I can get one in real life for the Harpy Lady deck, that'd be brilliant, but it's still pretty expensive and still pretty good. I'll just have to wait and see. For Synchros, I've got one Star Eater, so a level 7 Dragon plus the level 4 Tuner, no problem there. Two Stardust Dragon to protect the Harpy Lady since I don't run things like Effect Veiler and everything at this current time. And it's a Wind type as well. And then we've got two Scrap Dragon, um, which people might think is a bit of an odd choice, but its ability to destroy stuff is great, especially if it's my own card, so getting rid destroying my own Hysteric Signs if needed. Um, in order to get the effects during the end phase and then destroying the opponents, etc, etc. Or if I need to send some Harpy cards to the graveyard to use Coal Pen of Gildos or uh, Mass Summon with Hysteric Party, etc, etc. Anyway guys, that's it for this deck review. I hope you enjoyed. Um, as I said, this is a fun slash co with a competitive streak. It's... Um, it's my own version, it's my homage to my Valentine. I hope you guys enjoy. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Take care, everybody. Bye!